Hi, my name's Aaron, and I'm the head tech of the Airsoft GI Tech Department. This is my Russian loadout for Tactical Gearheads. So first we're gonna start off with my primary weapon. It's a SEMA AK-104. I've outfitted it with Zinico replica parts made by Asura Dynamics, such as the rail system up front, the foregrip, the barrel extension, the side rail mount, and the buffer tube adapter. I also have outfitted it with a uh, G&G Repro Comp M4 red dot sight and a Magpul CTR stock. When I decided to start doing a Russian loadout, I did a lot of research online, started seeing what the guns are looking like nowadays and what accessories they're using. Based on that, I built my gun according to what I thought would work best for me. I chose this rail system in particular because of how much room there is on the rail itself for accessories such as flashlights, lasers, peck boxes, just about any other accessory you can think of. All right, I chose this foregrip based on its design. It's still got enough room for me to grab onto and control my weapon, and also it allows me to be able to take my mags in and out a little bit easier than a standard foregrip with long handle on it. I chose to put a barrel extension on it, seeing as I didn't really see a lot of guns built like this with a barrel extension on it. Usually it has a compensator, but I wanted to have a little bit longer inner barrel on it, so I added barrel extension. I chose this optic based on the pictures that I was seeing. It's the Comp M4 made by G&G, &G, and it's actually a pretty nice optic. I added the Zeneco replica extended charging handle. For, for my gun, it's just for aesthetics. I added the Asura dynamic buffer tube adapter so that I could actually put on a, a CTR stock. The original stock, although it's good and it folds and it locks in place, I actually prefer the CTR stock over the original. Now for the internals, I put a lot of work into this. I want to make sure that the gun's going to stand up and work for a long time, so I added Siege Tech balanced gears, Magic Box 8mm ball bearings, clear palm piston, Magic Box double o-ring piston head, Magic Box full cylinder and cylinder head. Affords me a rate of fire around just under 30 rounds a second and an FPS of just under 400. Powering it is a Tinley GT 40,000 motor, which gives me a rate of fire of just under 30 rounds a second at an FPS around 400. I've also added a 455 millimeter Miracle Barrel with modified flat hop bucking and it affords me a little bit extra range when I'm out there playing. Now for my chest rig, I decided to purchase a Mark II chest rig. It's being used by the FSB right now. Uh, right off the bat, you're able to carry eight mags without having to add anything to it. I added two taco pouches, which are something that the FSB is actually using. I purchased them as a personal purchase because they just like to use them. I like to use them because uh, you can actually hold any kind of mag in it, but really nice to be able to have a mag that you can pull out without having to take anything off the top of it and move anything out of the way. I've also added two Mark II pistol pouches. I'm not using them as pistol mags. I'm actually holding uh, a flashlight and a multi-tool in them. On the chest rig itself, it also comes with two built-in GP pouches for whatever you possibly may need while you're out on the field. Now, uh, you can actually fold down the bib. With the bib up though, you can actually put in a plate for actual armor. My headgear, I'm wearing a just multicam tactical hat. I have a Milspick Monkey uh, Russian Federation flag. And also I'm wearing Oakley SI 2.0 ballistic glasses with the Hilo kit. I'm also wearing a Spec Ops neck wrap. It can be used to cover your face, head, anything you really want to. I usually use it just to cover my face. For my gloves, I'm using the Pig Alpha gloves. Now, the Russians use a wide variety of gloves. I chose these just because they're comfortable and they afford a lot of dexterity while I'm manipulating my weapon. Now for my belt, I have an HSGI Sure Grip padded belt. On the padded belt, I have two Mark II grenade pouches, one Mark II grenade smoke grenade pouch, my IFAC, and behind that I have my radio pouch, canteen pouch, dump pouch, and then also I have extra GP pouch for whatever I may need while I'm out on the field. Holding up the belt, I have the HSGI suspenders, which help reduce the load that's on the belt. Now for my outfit, it's a Parson summer suit, Spectre camouflage. It's actually reversible, so you can use it as a more of an arid color or lighter color than this is right now. It's actually really comfortable, nice and loose fitting. It's also got a hood on it, so if I wanted to, I can put a hood up and seal myself a little bit more. Now, the boots that I'm wearing today, they aren't the boots that I normally wear. I actually like to wear Solomons. I like wearing the Solomons because uh, they're very lightweight, comfortable, and you can run around in them all day while you're out playing. Well, I was researching gun builds. I came across a few painted patterns and picked out a pattern that I liked most. And I actually had our tech, John, paint this gun up for me. He actually cut all the stencils himself, did all the work, and made this look even better than it already did when it was just black. He painted my mags for me, and he's painted multiple other guns for people in the company and a lot of the other custom guns that you see out there at Airsoft GI. Once again, my name is Aaron. I'm the head tech here at Airsoft GI. Hope you enjoyed my Russian loadout. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below.
Now this is my favorite primary airsoft gun. It's my KWA Arm4 ERG. I have accessorized the airsoft gun as a Mabo Gemtech mock suppressor as well as a bigger battery box to hold bigger lipo batteries. So starting with the uniform, there's a couple different variants that are shown in the movie. What I have is what I like to call the commander variant. It's the one that Hamada wears before he gets stepped on by the Indominus Rex. Uh, what I have for the hat is a Vertex um, gunfighter hat. I also have a UR Tactical Extreme Combat shirt. This is the exact variant that was used in the film. This is my Russian loadout. Let me know what you... Okay. Hi, I'm Aaron from that. Christ. Hi, I'm Aaron from the Airsoft GI. Or, Christ. The fact that it has a lot of rail, uh, Real estate. <laughs> can we, at the end of this, can we cut together all the things? Where yes. Like, God damn it! God damn it! Oh, God damn it! Oh, this. Oh, God damn it! Damn it! God. <sighs> God damn it! I'm sorry. Tap. Mother. God damn it! God damn it! Fucking Christ! Fucking God damn it! Fucking what? Nah. It's stupid. Jesus. Oh my God. Oh God damn it! <laughs> God damn it. I'll do that again. That was stupid. It's <laughs> be a good one. Yeah. yeah. Guys, it's gonna be <laughs> solid. We haven't had a good outtake for uh, a while. Alright. I'm also wearing a spec op uh, mother.